Well, here at the Lawrence Livermore National Lab, scientists believe they may have discovered the holy grail of clean energy, saying it could change the way we power the world. And it's been no easy undertaking, as this is something that's been in the works right here in Livermore for more than 60 years. For the first time in world history, Monday, December 5th, 2022, was an important day in science. Scientists announcing they have finally reached a net energy gain, creating more power than it took to create the reaction. A discovery decades in the making, which happened at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, home to the largest and most energetic laser system. Reaching ignition in a controlled fusion experiment is an achievement that has come after more than 60 years of global research, development, engineering, and experimentation. When scientists made the discovery, they were recreating a mini version of the nuclear fusion that powers the sun. Aiming close to 200 super lasers at a tiny piece of metal the size of a pencil eraser, trying to fuse hydrogen atoms into a helium atom. Last week, for the first time, they designed this experiment so that the fusion fuel stayed hot enough, dense enough, and round enough for long enough that it ignited and it produced more energies than the lasers had deposited. About two megajoules in, about three megajoules out, a gain of 1.5. The energy production took less time than it takes light to travel one inch. Kind of fast. And the hope is this breakthrough could lead to an unlimited source of clean energy, ending dependence on fossil fuels. We have taken the first tentative steps towards a clean energy source that could revolutionize the world. This achievement opens up new scientific realms for us to explore and advances our capabilities for our national security missions. It demonstrates the power of U.S. leadership in science and technology and shows what we're capable of as a nation. A huge step forward to meeting President Biden's goal of achieving commercial fusion within a decade. This is what it looks like for America to lead. And we're just getting started. And they still have to figure out how to channel enough of that energy on a widespread level to create fusion power plants so it won't happen overnight. But still, this is an incredibly significant first step.